Have you ever felt stuck in a situation? No way out, walls all around. Maybe it's been a addiction or some situation in your life or maybe you felt like people around you talk down, you bullied you and you have no hope. You don't feel like you can move forward. You feel like there's a barrier and you're stuck and you're stopped and that's as far as you're going. Well, today I want to talk about a story. There's a story in the Bible about a woman who had this blood flow for 12 years and she could not get well. She actually tried all the doctors and none of them can heal her. She spent all of her money and still after that, even worse. No improvement, worse. And she would struggled with this for 12 years. And I can't imagine what that's like for 12 years struggling with something. I've had my struggles, uh, but they lasted maybe one to two years. You know, I had an issue where I was really, really financially stuck. And I was having major health problems. And it was lasted almost two years. And I started losing hope that there was a way out. But this lady had 12 years. And she got to the point to where she was totally hopeless. She didn't know what to do. She tried everything. And I think that a lot of us today are at that point. I think as Christ, even Christians, non-Christians, we got to that point to where we feel like there's no hope. Maybe it is because of an addiction. You thought I got baptized and I'm, uh, it's over and it's, your addiction is still there or your issue is still there. And sometimes it can, you can feel defeated and like there's no way through it. There's no hope beyond. And uh, whatever your situation may be, I think this story can help us. What, she, what this lady did is she heard about this guy named Jesus and she heard that he was coming through town. So when he did, she left her house, walked out there, broke through the crowd and touched him. And it says in the Bible that immediately she was healed. So I look at this lady and I apply myself that we could be in situations to where we feel stuck, hopeless. Again, it could be a drug addiction, it could be a pornography addiction, it could be being so broke you see no way out. It could be to where you just can't believe that Jesus can really heal you or help your family members, whatever it may be. I believe that the answer is Jesus. I believe that He is the breakthrough. And that's really what it is, is that we're up against a wall. We're stuck in this situation to where hope is on the other side, but we can't seem to get through and we can't seem to see it. But I believe that what the story teaches us is that Jesus is the breakthrough and all else fails, He is it. And today and this, the rest of this month, we're going to be talking about this subject of breakthrough because I believe that as Christians, we should be walking in confidence that it's possible because not only uh, is our Savior the one who rose from the day, who broke all, all barriers of science and uh, physicalities, everything, He broke it, He rose from the dead. And that should give us hope that no matter what situation there is, there's always hope and there's always a way through that our God provides a way through. So I, I hope that as we study this that you would find hope and you would identify the areas that you can't get over. The strongholds, the walls, the barriers that maybe you've built up in your mind, the fears, whatever they are, that you would start to bring them about and start to trust Jesus that He can help you break through. And we're going to do this together because I believe Jesus is the way. So we're not going to be stuck any longer, so we're going to be breaking through now. Ah!